a little windy. Coming in the gazebo. Let's fire this up. Okay. I'm going to have a conversation with the spirits. Today is Gazebo Improvement Day. Now, look at this deck down here. Yeah, I'm wearing shorts and big green boots. I've been dealing with water and hoses all morning. But I started to tear this deck apart because it's all rotten, as you can see. And whoever built this did a very bad job. It was on a slant. This, instead of going straight across to the gazebo, was on a slant down. I have leveled last year this gazebo as best I could with my six ton jack. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna redo this whole deck from here, that all that section there this section here and we're going to go out 10 feet around the backside so we can have a nice lounging area. I built that door yesterday, it took me six hours and uh, we're going to put the screen part in. So I made this removable piece here that fits in the window and we're just going to go screen that. I said this was the first thing we were doing. So right there. Oh shoot. Table. Or maybe right to your left. Uh, I don't remember where I moved it. Put it around the top. There, so now it's also nice and double screened.
Okay, so we've changed the filter. She's cleaned all the scum out of it using our patented water vinegar and some other cleaner we had. I'm going to suck out the bottom and then we're going to start uh, refilling it again. Still got to be able to, to reach it. I got two speakers up. We now have all four speakers installed. The wires are coming down. I just got to hook up the receiver part and test it. What do you think, spirits? The people don't want to see me shirtless, so I'll leave my shirt on. So you may be wondering what I did with this thing. This is a Eastside Mario's plastic junky old container. But what I did was obviously I wanted it to be water protected even though it's an outdoor unit. So I just made sure that we just drilled a couple holes, ran the speaker wires through it, and then I've tacked it in right here, you know, for a dollar. I'm saving my investment, my $300 investment. Did I mention that? This thing and those four speakers at 800 watts was only $276. That was with tax and shipping and everything. Pretty awesome. Check it up. That's for Jack. And you can hardly wait for your spaghetti dinner, eh, buddy? All day you sat in here smelling that spaghetti cooking while we were working in the gazebo. Okay, buddy. There you go. Save room for dessert. Want it centered more? Push it left three inches. Left a bit more. Not so easy, is it? That was my favorite. Is that it? That's the last one? Yeah. Come down and check out the glory. See if you're happy. Although we're having a problem with this tub today. I don't know what's going on. It will only heat to 95 degrees and then it keeps shutting off. So, and twice I've had an airflow message. We've used it for six months. It's been on running fine until we emptied it yesterday. So I don't know what's going on with it.
<laughs> so we got this pump fixed twice. Is this gonna be, is this hot tub gonna be good for a while now, spirits? in our yard last night well the past few days <laughs> uh, I've completely removed this section of deck you can see I've got the big cables that supply the electricity to the gazebo just laying on top and then there's some internet and TV wires that were kind of stapled to the back of the deck over there I have a load of lumber that was supposed to come yesterday, $2,400 it's going to cost me to redo this whole deck, uh, this big section, the stairs, and around the back side, uh, pressure treated wood. I wanted to use the, what do they call that, the composite plastic stuff that lasts forever, but it was like six grand, and I'm like, no, I'm kind of cheap like that. I'll. Uh, I'll spend 30% and then I'll take a couple days, a year or two from now, and I'll stain it. Frugal? Cheap? I don't know. Wise? Yesterday, this pile of wood looks like nothing. Looks like a small little pile of wood. That took me two hours to cut that uh, back in the bush on the trail. The big maple had fallen down into a birch tree. A couple of birch pieces there you can see. Uh, so I had to cut both of those up and then a little balsam got uprooted when I dropped the birch tree So it doesn't look like much, but that was a full wagon load of wood Which is roughly one-third of a row of that wood it took me two hours. I have to split that today now what I want to show you is the wood that I pulled out of here Which is not in great shape. It's okay It's still solid uh, it was pressure treated obviously when they put that in. You may recall a couple of videos I've made in the last two years where my wood pile fell down twice out here at the shed. It's fell down once each year. So I had a plan to fix that using those old deck boards. So what I did was I just made like a fence wall here. It's pretty solid you can see. And so I'll pile my wood on top of these two stickers here, I'll pile, there'll be a single on each side here and over here. So one other project I did here was I rebuilt Papa Mike's old trailer, the top of it. Uh, this took me eight hours to build that box, to build it and then stain it. Uh, it's got a two inch bottom in it now so the bottom won't rot out. This was stained using an old farmer's technique where you take old motor oil and diesel gasoline you mix it together and uh, she stinks to high heaven but uh, it's pretty fantastic and I put new tires brand new tires on there and eventually I'm gonna take this trailer and I'm gonna repaint it uh, but that's a job for another day and someday I'll pass that trailer on to my kids and I hope they rebuild it and think of me and my grandpa when they use it I also had a flat tire on my tractor. That took a couple weeks to get fixed up. The tire itself, if you have to buy a new tire, is like $234. And uh, I could take it into town, get it removed off of the rim, and a tube put in there for a total of 50 bucks. Uh, like I said, frugal. And it should function fine with a tube, so save myself 200 bucks. What do you spirits think about those two walls I built out at the shed for holding up the wood piles? Think that'll work good? Stop the wood from falling over? I also had 
my tractor tire. I had a tube put in it and that took a couple weeks to get that all sorted out. Should that tractor tire be okay with a tube in it? It's getting foggy. Can I take a load on that tractor with the tube in it? And it should be okay? No gas. Second load. <sighs> Is my face all sweaty? So that, my friends, was an hour to split it. And like I said, two hours work yesterday to cut it down, cut it up, and haul it here. So that's a half a single. Took three hours of work. Do the math. Too much bloody work. Although, it keeps you in shape. I had this like nine week battle with the company called Zotac over my graphics card. Eventually, after they sent me a really bad replacement uh, for my $2,400 graphics card, it did the exact same thing that my original card did within, well, within the first 10 minutes of me plugging it in. And now eventually they've sent me, or they said they've sent me, a brand new, very expensive, top of the line, brand new graphics card. Was that good customer service? Or was it bad customer service? I had to open a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. 
Um, I think that played a role in them finally coming through and saying, here, pick a new graphics card. If I had not opened up a case with the Better Business Bureau and also threatened them with legal action, would they have continued to treat me with disrespect? All right, love, peace, joy, and adventure to you spirits and viewers. I'm going to turn this off and enjoy my hot tub for another 20 minutes.